In this tutorial, we will UV unwrap and bake a generated texture onto an object. We will then go over the export process to prepare our models for game development purposes. To export a newly made texture, we will need to attach it onto the object. This process is called baking. Baking creates flat 2D images of the 3D object surface using the mesh's UV map. This 2D image can be remapped onto the object using the object's UV coordinates when we import it into a game engine or another type of 3D program. For simple meshes, we can generally bake the texture without UV unwrapping, but for more complex objects, we will need to make sure the mesh has been UV unwrapped. For a more detailed explanation of UV unwrapping, please visit the previous tutorial. Begin by selecting the object while in the shading workspace. Hover the cursor in the nodes editor and add an image texture node. This can be found in the texture subcategory. Add a new image texture by selecting new. Click into the name box to rename the new texture. Then click OK. Next, select the new image texture node and make sure the object you want to bake is also selected. Navigate to the Properties panel and open the Render Properties. Next, click into the Render Engine menu and change the engine from EV to Cycles. Now, a Bake option will appear under the menu. Also be sure that the device is set to CPU rather than GPU to prevent any crashes. Expand the Bake section and change the Bake type from Combined to Diffuse. A combined bake would incorporate the environmental lighting and reflections in Blender, whereas Diffuse will only bake on the colors and textures. This works better when exporting models for game engines. We also need to uncheck the direct and indirect boxes under the contributions, as we only want the color exported. Now we can select Bake. Notice the bake loading bar at the bottom of the window. Depending on the texture, this may take a few minutes to render. Once the texture bakes, you can see the results in the Image Editor window. Tap the three-line menu, navigate to Image, and select Save As to save the image file. This image file will be required when importing an object into a game engine for AR or VR spaces. To test or preview the baked image file, disconnect the other nodes from the principled VSDF and connect the new image texture node to the base color input. The texture should look almost identical to the original node setup. If you have multiple textures and multiple objects, you will need to bake them onto the same UV map. So in this example, I will bake the dog texture and the bone texture to the same image file. We first need to adjust the UV map. Select one of the objects and enter the UV editor. Each area of the mesh on the UV map is called a UV island. We need to move these UV islands to prevent any overlap between objects. Select the entire mesh then scale it and move it to its own portion of the UV map. Now we need to do the same for the other object. Move back into object mode, select another object, and move back into edit mode. Select the entire mesh in the edit window and move these islands to a unique spot on the UV map. To see how the UV map is arranged, switch into object mode, Select all of the objects, then switch back into edit mode. If the UV map is not appearing, tap A on the keyboard while the cursor is in the edit mode workspace. 
It's extremely important that nothing overlaps on the UV map. Next, move into the shading workspace and select an object. Add an image texture node in the nodes editor panel, add a new image, rename it, and then click OK. Make sure that this new image texture node is highlighted in white. Select the other object in the scene and add an image texture node to this node's editor panel. This time, we can use the image file dropdown to select the same image that we just created. We need to make sure that this new node is also selected and highlighted in white. Next, select all of the objects that contain this image texture node. Move into the UV editing tab to make sure that all objects are selected. We can see that the UV map contains information for all of the objects we need to bake. Open the render properties panel to make sure the render engine is set to cycles. The device is set to CPU, and the bake type is set to diffuse. The direct and indirect boxes should also be turned off. Now we can finally select Bake. Once the bake is complete, deselect the mesh to inspect the new image file. If you're satisfied with the bake, navigate to Image and select Save As to save the image. Before starting the export process, make sure to create a new folder for the object to be exported to. This folder should also contain the object's texture file that we just baked. We also need to double check the scale of the object, especially when exporting for AR purposes. Please use the measure feature found in edit mode to check the size of the object. Just click, drag, and release to activate the measure function. We can see that each square in Blender accounts for one meter in physical space. So this model from nose to tail will take up about one and a half meters when viewed through the Shared Spaces app. Once the scale is confirmed, we can select all of the components in the scene that we want to export. We can do this by box selecting or left clicking objects while holding the shift key. Selected objects will highlight orange in both the viewport and the scene collection panel. Please do not include the light source or the camera when submitting work to shared spaces as we already have accounted for these elements. Check that the number of vertices of the combined selections is under 30,000. To do this, go to the overlay dropdown and check on the statistics box. A statistics overlay will appear on the top left of the viewport that includes a vertices count. If the object is over 30,000 vertices, please see the Decimate tutorial before exporting. With the objects highlighted, join them together by right-clicking and selecting Join. Next, navigate to File, then Export, and select Wavefront OBJ. A new window will appear with exporting options. Rename the file and select the file location where the OBJ should be stored. Under the Include panel at the top right of the window, check on the Selection Only box. Confirm that the scale is set to 1, the path mode is set to Auto, Forward is set to minus Z Forward, and the up is set to Y up. Now select Export OBJ. The exported model should appear in its designated folder as an OBJ and MTL file, along with the texture file that we added earlier. The OBJ is the mesh data, the MTL is the material instructions or settings, and the texture is the image wrapping the object. These three files are required for uploading to the Shared Spaces app and should not exceed more than 5 megabytes when combined. 